the size of the loop is a little bit larger so we can reduce the size by using tweed tweed loop bending plier so the size a little bit smaller squeeze so that the loop will stay together and bend the distal part of the loop with the round beak so that it will come to stay on the same plane and it should lie flat on the table like this if we bring the wire back to the book you can see the comparison of the loop the loop stay in the proper position with a smaller size. This is good. Exercise number five, the Snoopy loop. Next, exercise number five, the Snoopy loop. Normally, we don't use this loop, but in order to practice, to get coordination between your finger and your eyes, this is recommended. First, we bend 90 degrees with Jerobox plier. We bend at 4 mm level, so this is to use your eyes to approximate how large is 4 mm. And then you bend the nose of the Snoopy, and then turn the wire so that the round beak will stay inside the Snoopy's nose. Then you turn the wire to make Snoopy's nose. like this and then you have to approximate again to bring the wire up to make Snoopy's head like this and then bring the wire down to complete Snoopy's loop Turn the wire 180 degrees, bend this of the plier, and the Snoopy will stay on the same level. You can see now the head, the nose of Snoopy is complete. Sometimes you can use this to hang class 2 elastic as shown on page 18. If we bring the wire back to the book, you can see the size of the Snoopy is, is a bit larger than the example. So it starts with approximating 4 mm. Our 4 mm approximated with the eyes is sometimes larger. So, to make it smaller, you have to start again, 90 degrees bending, let's say this is 3 mm. So this loop will be smaller than the first one. This time, you come back to the book. We can find it this time. This is the first time, this is the second time. It's almost the same size as shown here.
The next loop we bend is the closing loop. Exercise number six, the standard closing loop or contraction loop. Next, we will bend some closing loops. The first loop we bend is exercise number six, the standard closing loop or contraction loop. First, we bend 90 degrees. Approximate size 7 mm. Marking. And turn the loops back. This is approximately 7 mm as seen in the book. Smaller size is recommended. The larger size than the example is not recommended. And then we will have to bend the leg. One leg is shorter than the other leg. This is one millimeter intrusion step as seen here. One millimeter intrusion step. Minor adjustments must be made. Now, as seen here, the Y will stay one millimeter apart. At point 2B, we will bend another loop. Ninety degree. This will be the distal. Cameras be given that the leg will be equal. And here's a trick to bend one millimeter of step or intrusion step. You have to place the plier like this. This is Tweed Ashwai bending plier. You place it right in the middle so that you see half of the plier from the top and half of the plier from the bottom. And when you bend the distal leg back to the horizontal plane, you get one millimeter of intrusion, extrusion here as seen here. Back to the book, you can see this is pretty close to the actual size. Now, I'll show you on the table. As you can see here, the expansion loop and the closing loop and the standard closing loop.
They are designed according to the safety pin principle. That means when they are activated, the loop will stay under compression mode. With its chip memory, it will bring the loop back to original position. Compression mode and relax. Compression mode and relax. Here as well. If you compress the loop and ligate it, the chip memory of the loop, they work under compression mode and pushing teeth apart. Compression mode and relax. Compression mode and relax. The same here. Compression mode and relax. Compression mode and relax. But the teardrop loop do not work in the same manner because it is not designed according to the safety pin principle. So we cannot overactivate it. Only a minor activation can be made and it will return to its original position. If you activate it too much, it will dead and it will not return to the original position. Why? Because this loop is not designed according to the safety pin principle. Number seven, the bull loop. The next exercise, exercise number seven, the bull loop. We use Jarabax plier to bend the bull loop. The Y selection is 016 times 022 stainless steel. The first thing we bend around the round beak on the 022 side, 90 degrees. We mark 3 mm and bend back like a U turn. And then around the round beak. We make a bull loop as seen here. We have to bend so that the leg will be parallel to each other. Turn the wire 180 degree and bend to make the loop stay in the same plane. as seen here. We can come back to the book and check the size. This is about one millimeter smaller than the example and this is good. This closing loop is not designed according to the safety pin principle. So activation of this loop must be seriously taking do not over activate it because it will be dead and will not close the space. We can activate it only one millimeter at each time. To make it more resilient, we have to use longer, longer wire. For example, we can use to make L loop like this. You can see that L loop used longer wire as seen here. Ninety degrees. Three millimeter, make it down here. Back.
So this is an L loop. Now we can show the activation. Activation of the L loop and the BOO loop. This is to close the space. L loop is more gentle than the BOO loop. But the BOO loop also have its advantage. It preserves the S form better than the L loop. It is stronger. It is more flexible. Another design can also be used. For example, a keyhole loop. I would recommend to use a smaller size of the keyhole. This is for the top one. This is acceptable for the top one. And another one that I'd like to demonstrate here, we call it a sweetheart loop, because it has the shape of a heart. This is to learn how to coordinate your eyes and your finger. You see this is the sweetheart loop approximately to the example shown here. Because it's flexibility, you can activate it a lot. We don't use this quite often. And the most commonly used is the L loop. The keyhole has also good flexibility because it's larger. Conclusion, the larger the loop, the longer the wire use, it will be more and more flexible. The smaller the loop and the less wire material you use, the stronger it will.
Number eight, the closing T loop. Exercise number eight, the closing T loop. Now we'll take another piece of wire and marking at five uh, A and five B. At this point, we will bend a T closing loop. This is designed to close the larger space like the loss of mandibular first molar. First, we bend 90 degrees. Every time you bend the closing loop, think that we will bend the distal leg first. Down 3 mm and bend the wire back to the distal. Three millimeter, bend the wire back to the front. So the loop we have about six millimeter size. Adapt the curvature. Go back to the loop and see the actual size. If the T loop is too long, it will impinge on the soft tissue. So it's wiser to use shorter T. Again, on the A size. 90 degrees, bending down, 3 millimeter. to this door. 3 millimeter to the front, three millimeter back. The leg is crossed. The loop is designed according to the safety pin principle. Adapt the curvature. Minor adjustments. 